Stop accepting defeat as if it's the end of the world. You still got breath in your body, so therefore you still have life to live. You still can accomplish that goal that you set in your mind. The words say in Romans 3, verse 23, For all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. So I was having a conversation with the Heavenly Father about becoming successful. And the Heavenly Father spoke this in my spirit. He said, most people that become successful has accepted this one fact. And that's that failure is guaranteed. Failure guaranteed, y'all. That's what that scripture reminds me of. It reminds me that I can't do nothing on my own and I will come short of the glory of God. But then you got to ask yourself this question. What will I do with my shortcomings? Allow them to become wisdom. Learn from each mistake. Because as long as you still got breath in your body, you can accomplish something. You can finish something. You can overcome something. You can develop a skill set. You can become more knowledgeable about something. But it's up to you. You got to continue to keep getting back up and appreciate the time that the Heavenly Father has given you. Like I said, you still got breath in your body. So there's things that you still can do. Don't accept defeat as if it's the end of the world because it's not. The only difference between people that's successful and people that's not is some choose to give up when stuff ain't working out in their favor. And some continue to keep going when stuff ain't working out in their favor. In other words, there is not really a difference. We all have started off at an equal playing field. Therefore, we all have the same opportunities. We just got to choose to continue to win. We got to choose to win. I refuse to lay down in defeat. I choose to want to have the victory. So I'm going to keep going and I'm going to continue to learn from my mistakes. That's the key, y'all. Let me tell you this one thing. Every single body that has ever become wealthy in life started off where you're at right now. They started at zero. They didn't have nothing. They wasn't born into it. And even the people that's born into it, the person that broke the generational curse of poverty in their family started off at zero as well. That's the only reason why they're born into it. So guess what that means? We can also obtain wealth. We can also let go of stuff that's keeping us down. We have the opportunity. As long as God continues to wake us up in the morning, we can become better. There's things that we can do that tremendously transform our life, but we got to want it. We got to want it. Stop accepting defeat as if it's the end of the world. Once you get past the fear of failure, that's when you start to learn how to become successful. That's how you learn how to succeed in the most challenging situations. That's how you overcome the odds that's stacked against you. Once you no longer have nothing to fear, what I've learned in life is this. We have to accept failure for what it is. Because once you accept it, then you can learn from it and you can push past it. So you got to start today. Because if you don't start now, will never begin. It starts today. Don't surrender to the enemy because surrendering to the enemy, surrendering to anything that's not of God is like accepting defeat. That's something we're going to let go now. We're not going to accept defeat. It's time to shatter fear so that you may overcome your limits. Shatter fear to overcome your limits. It don't matter what people say. It don't matter how people treat you. I'm going to just keep it a hundred because at the end of the day, we can't control what people do or say, but we can control how we react to certain things that's done in this life. The more we gain control over our emotions, that's how we start breaking the fear of not doing something. Because sometimes people don't go after something that's a part of their dream or a goal that they're trying to accomplish because People done spoke to them negatively. 
or they done seen someone get a negative response about certain stuff that they may be trying to accomplish. So people allow their fear to keep them stagnant in a certain place. So we got to get to a place in our heart, mind, and soul that we don't care if the world reject us. All we should be focusing on is how can we build the kingdom of God? How can we serve the heavenly father? How can we let go of the stuff that's no longer serving us? You know, that stuff that's keeping you in a dark place. How do we let go of it? By surrendering to the most high God, by accepting Lord Jesus. Don't accept defeat. Accept the victory that we have in Lord Jesus. See, one thing I'm starting to realize about life is this. Excuses sound best when you're tired. Excuses sound best when you just want to throw in the towel because you feel like you're not making no real progress. That's when excuses sound good. And it's easy to say that to ourselves in order to convince our mind to give up. But what happens when you push through the mental fatigue and push through the physical pain that may be coming from whatever it is you're working on? What happens when you push through it? That's when you become that person that you see in your vision. That's what happens when you push through it. That's what happens when you don't accept defeat. That's what happens when you allow your shortcomings to become wisdom. When you learn from your mistakes, when you learn how to give everything that you have, the very essence of who you are back to the heavenly father, you become something different. There is purpose for your life. There is something that the Heavenly Father wants you to do, but you won't get there if you accept defeat, if you give up because you continue to fail. That word said, we all have fell short of God's glory. We all have sinned, not just some. Forget about the 1%. If you're watching this video, this is the Heavenly Father letting you know is possible. There is nothing in this world that's impossible for the Heavenly Father. I'm living proof. You can get to a better day, but you got to push through the pain in order to become something entirely different than who you was yesterday. Push through it. I just wanted to get up here to encourage someone that it's not over. It's not the end of the world. You may have lost a battle yesterday, but guess what? That battle is in your past now. God allowed you to see a brand new day, a whole nother day. So work on it again and again and again, as many times as you have to in order to get it. But never give up because surrendering to the enemy is like accepting defeat. You will overcome that lust. You will overcome that temptation. You will overcome that poverty. You will overcome that backslide. You will overcome everything that you struggle with and you will, I repeat, you will overcome that addiction. No matter what it is, you will overcome it because God has created us to be more than conquerors through Lord Jesus Christ. You're going to overcome it all. God going to use you to overcome all those generational curses that may be over your family. He's going to use you because God says so. He allowed you to wake up this morning. That's God letting you know. That's God reassuring you. He's by your side. But you got to pursue after the Heavenly Father. Push through the pain. So stop accepting defeat as if it's the end of the world because it's not. You woke up this morning. That's all the hope I need because the Heavenly Father woke me up this morning. That's all the hope I need to keep going. And I will accomplish what the Heavenly Father has placed in front of me to do. I'm not going to allow the enemy to take me off the course that the Father placed me on. I done messed up multiple times on this journey. But the one thing I don't know how to do, and that's give up. I just don't know how to give up. I don't know how to muster up the strength to give up. I got to push through it. You got to push through it. So push through it. I pray this word bless you. In Jesus' name, amen. I love y'all.